Do you have a diary? What do you write in your diary? The other day, a friend of mine asked me, how have I changed? How I can control my emotions? And how can I now express feelings I have already felt long ago so well in understandable words? How can I describe how other people feel so accurately? And my answer is, because I feel the same way. The difference is that I write what I feel when I feel it. I just don't let feelings and emotions get through that easily. I watch them pass by, then I give them names and try to understand them. Why did I feel them? And who makes me feel whatever? And if I have certain memories these feelings revive and affect my reactions, then I write all of this. Write it in any way, as bullet points, as a story, as a brief, or hints to remind me later of the full story. This journey of journaling about anything in particular facing me is not something that is new to me. I have been writing since I was very young, and I keep several notebooks of my diaries talking about how my day was no matter how silly and ordinary it was as a child. I was influenced by Laura, the owner of Hantaro, the Hamster. Since then, I have developed the habit of journaling. Most of my diaries revolved around what we ate for lunch or dinner, and what I bought with my bucket money. Did another of my cats die? It was written in a very simple language with a very bad handwriting and with a hilarious honesty. As funny as these memories seem today, they were the cornerstone not only of what I write today, but of how I write it. How am I still even writing? Because my day was simple. No adventures, no fantasy events, no dragons, no attempts to save the world with my own team of brave warriors. I had to find something interesting, anything. So. I began to pay attention to the smallest details, for example, how I like to go to the grocery store with my mom because she will buy me anything I ask her for, and how I feel sorry when she starts choosing ginger or lemon, which means that they will leave their little family, and how they must now look at us with hatred, write about how the cashier treated us, did he smile? Why didn't he smile? He looked sad. Did he fight with someone? Write about his nervous, intense gaze, and so on. I write not only about what I feel, but about how my reaction or my feelings were to everything that was around me and caught my attention. Then, with the passage of time, I discovered how sensitive I am, because I was observing how people smile, how they eat, how they laugh, and how they bow their heads when passing by me. And that gave me a general idea of the people around me, or at least my impressions of people around me, their expressions, their reactions, and the possibilities I can find out about why they act in a certain way. I had many, many pages in which I talked, for example, about things like how much I respect people to kiss the hands of elderly people, how much I like the smell of some people's bodies as soon as I hug them, the smell of someone who took a shower recently without a strong perfume scent, the smell of soap and children powder, and how I built my admiration based on this smell for some people, because it makes me feel how clean they are and can be hugged easily without thinking twice. I wrote long letters of apology to ginger and lemons and mangoes and watermelons because we ruined their little family by not buying them all. And how is it so simple that we destroy an entire life without realizing that we are the reason? Journaling helps you monitor and keep track of your feelings when you write memories whether on paper or electronic, it doesn't matter. As for me, my paper notebox changed a long time ago to my phone, then to my laptop, then to some app. However, over several days or weeks, you will notice certain patterns, certain feelings, 
After that, you will get to know yourself more, what catches your attention, what you ignore, and what you are more aware of than others. And you can work to get rid of everything that caused you negative feelings at some point, because you watched it from the beginning and wrote it. I have read many psychiatrists who say journaling will help you have a calmer mind, sleep better, and boost your confidence. It guides you through your journey. You can track your mood as many times a day as you wish and write down how you feel. If you use your journal correctly, you'll become more aware of your feelings and other things that are bothering you. Now, how to start writing a diary and what should be written in it? Many wonder what they will write and how nothing interesting and exciting in their lives. Well, the point is not what happens, but instead in how you feel and react about whatever is happening. First of all, never care about your handwriting, what terms you will use, what language. Journaling is supposed to be just for you, so it doesn't matter because at least you can understand what you have written, right? Right? Oh, shit. <laughs> your diary is a reflection of you. A way to respond to yourself you don't need to be a writer to keep a diary just write down your thoughts and feelings and write letters to yourself as if it was from another person you have done great you're amazing i'm proud of you it's okay to feel this way you're not the only one on this planet who feels this way are you don't monitor what you write while writing it if i show you my diary which looks like incomprehensible scribbles. You'd be shocked at how much this chaos has shaped me, because there is where I simply speak my mind out without caring how my handwriting looks like or how I have to beg my words or what subjects I have to talk about. Journaling is a way to talk to yourself about your day, about your thoughts, about your feelings, about how you were, how you wish you will be and how much you are suffering right now. But that's okay, because there will be another letter from your future self that will make all this easier for you. Write about how someone made you feel. Write about the changes you are experiencing. Write about how difficult it is for you to adapt, accept, and let go. Sometimes, write about them all. I do that as well. Because I never tell myself what to write and to be teddy. Journaling is not about being teddy. It's about taking this heavy burden of feelings and thoughts of your shoulders. But remember, as it's a burden that you want to get rid of, you have to stick to the truth. The truth and only the truth. I know what you are thinking. I have thought about it thousand times all along. Sometimes... I fear that someone will find my diary and think of me a certain way because of what I wrote and because of how I really felt. But it doesn't matter. In my case, no one really can understand my handwriting, so good for me. Try to find a specific way to write the diary. Keep it safe in your laptop or write it backwards or in an ugly handwriting that no one can understand except you. Like me. But most importantly, tell the truth in detail. When you are honest about the details, you will remember this day even 10 years from now. How were you? What did you feel? And why did you feel that way? Did you talk about your feelings with anyone? How did they accept your confession? You kept it to yourself? When did this burden lighten? Never? How terrible is this? Has it been so long already and you still feel that way? You can write more or less, it's up to you. There is no rule about how much you should write in your diary, how many days or if you should write at the end of each day. There is no rule. If there are even a few sentences that can highlight your day or your week and describe how you felt and thought, just write a few sentences. Likewise, if you feel like you need to empty your mind in your diary, that you have to write a few pages about one event or one feeling to calm down, do so. That's the point after all. Write down anything, anything at all that seems important to you that day. 
if you think it's important enough to catch your attention or changing your way of thinking even a little bit and might somehow shape your personality and your reactions over the next few days, write it down. Relax and write. Because writing is maybe the safest way to talk to yourself without making someone else think of you as crazy. After a few years, read what you wrote and you will be surprised at how much you have changed. Because writing is not like taking pictures. You can fake smile in pictures. But in diary, you are forbidden from lying. No classification, no compliments. Otherwise, don't start it in the first place. So... Will you start journaling? What are you going to journal about?